time to make a Victoria sponge. So um, I've got the ingredients uh, weighed out ready to go and I've also got my oven on. It's 160 degrees fan and it's preheating as we speak. So we're going to start um, with the butter and the sugar. And once again, I'm going to use my stand mixer. If you don't have one, doesn't matter. You can use a bowl um, with an electric whisk or um, a bowl and a, a wooden spoon and some elbow grease. So we've got soft butter here. It's been out of their fridge for about an hour. 180 grams of uh, butter and 180 grams of fine crystal sugar. I've got uh, slightly golden sugar. And using the K attachment, we're going to whisk those together for about five minutes until the butter has turned white and soft and fluffy. That's on slow speed to start off with. And then once the ingredients start incorporating together, we can put it on medium high speed and leave it going for about five minutes. That's been noisily mixing away for the last five minutes. We've got a nice, light and fluffy butter sugar mixture. I'm just going to lift the bowl away from the mixer just to ease the mixture away from the edge of the bowl. It tends to work its way up. And then we're going to add in the next ingredients, which are three eggs. And really important to make sure that your ingredients are all at room temperature so if you keep your eggs in the fridge then make sure you lift those out at the same time as the butter this stops the mixture from curdling so three eggs and then 180 uh, grams of self-raising flour so this is the flour that's already got the raising agent in it if you can't get hold of that then you can just use a universal flour and add two teaspoons of baking powder So as I often say, once the flour is in, you have to go gently. So no full speed now, just a gentle mix. Very slowly to start off with, so we don't get clouds of flour all over the place. And then one large stage, which is um, a tablespoon of milk for each egg and a teaspoon of vanilla. So I've got three eggs and three tablespoons of milk and the vanilla's in there. So in that goes, that's the last ingredient and a gentle mix. And then that's it. So just scrape down from the paddle and I just usually give the cake one last stir just to make sure there's no bits that have been left at the bottom just being really careful not to lock any of that air out that you've been incorporating so carefully and then divide it equally between the two cake tins you can weigh this if you like i just usually eyeball it and then just using the back of the spoon just level it out in the tins I did prepare the tins just a little bit before I uh, used them just with a spray of oil and a little bit of flour. It just helps to release the cakes from the tin once they're cooked. So this will level out itself in the oven. 
just spread the mixture around and then they go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 160 degrees. So there we have it, our lovely two sponges which I've turned out onto a cooling rack and I'm going to let them completely cool before I dress them with strawberry jam and cream.